Okay, if you're seeing the club face pointing to the sky at the top of your swing, that, that club face is closed. Um, if you swing normally from there, the ball will go left. So what a lot of people do when the face is really out of position, they kind of start to stand the shaft up and start to create some compensations for it. There are players like Dustin Johnson and some of those guys who have got a closed face, but they have some what's called some matchups, but they're very complicated and intricate. Most people have got a closed face, they have reactions to it and they end up kind of pushing, pushing it out to the right, hooking it, pushing it, all sorts of stuff. So if you see the face like this at the top, um, you really want to get it in a better position, a little bit more kind of what I call a toe hanging position. So if you look at the top of the swing there, look, instead of the face pointed to the sky, the toe is kind of at 45 degrees um, relative to, the, to where it was. It's not this way, it's not that way, it's kind of in between the two. And that's kind of optimal of where you're trying to get to. So first of all, check your grip. You know, have a look at some of the earlier modules and what your grip should look like. Because if you've got a closed face, the odds are pretty good your grip's out of position. And also look halfway back. Is the face closed? Is the club out of position? Again, check some of the earlier modules. Um, but a great way to kind of get the, the face in a better position is if you put a little T in your back of your, your glove here, and at the top of your swing, you point the T kind of away from you um, that way, that gets the left wrist with more angle in it. If you watch that club face, when I manipulate my, that gloved hand, look, watch, if I go that way, you see what the face does. I go that way, you can see what the face does. And you can also feel the same thing with your right wrist. If you flatten your right wrist out a little bit and get that T going that way, or cup your left, or get it in extension, however you want to say it, that's going to allow that club to, to kind of hang down. And another good feeling, which has worked really well for a driver in the past, is get that left thumb under the shaft at the top. That really gets the face really neutral, really hanging. Great feeling for a driver, because once that thing's more neutral, you can really go ahead and just absolutely rip it and, and release it, etc. And don't be afraid to get that left wrist in a little bit of extension. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a big thing um, that everyone says, hey, this left wrist has to be like that. It's absolute rubbish. The, the, the average PJ Tour average we saw with 100 players who were, who were surveyed with a sensor on their wrist was 25 degrees in what I call extension, which is what my left wrist is there. And yet there's some outliers who are like that and everyone thinks that's what it should be. I don't, we know that that's not true. So, um, you know, left wrist, point the T away from you, right wrist flatter, and then that toe's gonna hang better. Once that toe's hanging better, then you can go ahead and let rip.